So this is one that I've been waiting absolutely ages for. We finally got in the new Newfi Halo 96. This is a wireless mechanical keyboard for both Windows and Mac. And we've already reviewed the Halo 65 and the Halo 75. And we've absolutely loved those keyboards. So I'm really looking forward to unboxing and taking a look at this full size 96 version. So let's see what we get inside. Now it's a quite a big and heavy box. What have we got inside here? Okay, here we go. So straight away you're greeted to an extremely heavy keyboard uh, with an actual cover to protect it. It's always nice, a little dust cover there. Then we've got our instructions and some stickers. Make sure you keep the instructions. This does have a lot of the hotkeys on, which is very handy. An incredibly heavy full-size keyboard. I'll put to the side for a second so we can see what else is in the box. Now underneath the keyboard, we do have a fair few accessories. Let's take a look. Looks like another manual, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Another small box here. And inside this box, we've got a cable if you want to run it wired or to charge the actual keyboard. We've got a keycap and switch puller because the actual caps and the switches are replaceable on this keyboard. We've got a nice little array of different colored and different operating system keycaps so you can switch between Windows and Mac and change some of the keys, which is very nice. And we've got a nice white space bar if you don't like the yellow that's on the board itself. And lastly, on the right, we have got a selection of switches. So if the switches that you've got aren't to your taste, you can try some of the switches in the box to choose one that you do like. Right, let's unwrap this keyboard and take a look. This keyboard. This keyboard is incredibly heavy. Wow, it's dense. Okay, the first thing you notice when you pick one of these up, as I say, they are very heavy. The build quality is absolutely insane. It is rock solid. Now this isn't gonna be a keyboard you're gonna throw in a bag and carry with your laptop for sort of work on the go. It is, I mean, I'm gonna wait in a minute, but it feels ridiculously heavy. But what you're getting is a solid keyboard that's gonna sit in your desk that sounds amazing and feels amazing to type on. New have spent the last couple of years absolutely revising the sort of the key feel on their mechanical range of keyboards. And between the 65, the 75, and now this new 96, they seem to have perfected it. Now it's available in the black, and the white, though this is the 75, but you get the gist of the white version of this model. And you get a range of keycaps that you can order. Now we've previously tested the Baby Kangaroos, the Rose Glacier, and the G Pro Browns. So this time we've decided to get the Night Breeze. Now this is a linear switch. That's quite a heavy black switch. And I must be honest, it's gonna be quite a heavy typing experience if you like that. But the feeling and the sound is just incredible. Now I am going to put it up against the other switches and we'll show you the sound difference in a little while, but just typing on this machine is, is amazing. Now although this isn't a full size mechanical keyboard, it's got 96 keys being obviously the Halo 96 and it gives you all the functionality you need of a keyboard and a number pad which you don't get on the other models. Now they have still managed to make this quite a compact keyboard by compressing the keys together, you haven't got the gaps between the number pad like you have on a full size keyboard. But you're basically getting all the functionality that you need, especially if you're doing a lot of spreadsheet or number work with that number pad. Now, as per the Halo 65 and 75 keyboards, we also get the Ghost Spacebar. So the spacebar itself is dampened and it sounds absolutely incredible. And as well as the Ghost Bar, Newfie have put in built in plate and PCB silicon to really dampen the sound. So you're not getting any ping or clatter, just the pure mechanical keyboard sound. And it does, it is just such a lovely keyboard to listen to and to type with. Out of the box, you can see we're set up with Mac keys and we've on the function keys, we've also got the Mac uh, modifiers. So it's very handy if you wanna use this with a MacBook or an iMac. I personally use my Halo 65 with my little iMac on the studio here and I absolutely love it. But if you do want Windows, you obviously just swap the keycaps over for the Windows modifiers and you're good to go. Once you swap the keycaps over, there's a little switch on the top which moves it from Windows to Mac. It's as simple as that. Whilst we're looking at the switches on the top, you'll see here as well, we've got the off, wired, and wireless version of this actual keyboard. 
This is either Bluetooth or uses a 2.4 gigahertz dongle, which is conveniently placed magnetically in the top of the keyboard as well so that you don't lose it. It's very easy to get it in and out and it's gonna stay secure. It's not gonna drop out. It's very handy. You don't wanna lose that dongle. And on the other side of the keyboard, you can see we've got the USB port here, which can be used to run the actual keyboard wired or to actually charge the actual internal battery of this keyboard itself. And talking of battery life, if you're running this with maximum brightness with all the lighting on on this keyboard, you're looking at about 48 hours of battery life. But if you turn all the actual lighting off, you're getting about 240 hours of battery which is quite sufficient, in my opinion, for the odd charge and a lot of use time. So talking of the actual lighting, this is a backlit keyboard. So not only is it backlit underneath all of the actual letters and caps themselves, but it has the halo bar all around the inner edge and the outer edge of the actual keyboard, which looks absolutely fantastic. Now, obviously the keycaps are PBT that are actually supplied and they're not shining through. So you're gonna get a lot of light around the actual keycaps, just not shining through but you can buy a set of shine through keycaps as well, if you so wish, or you can buy your own aftermarket keycaps as well if you've got some in mind that you wanna buy. And we'll put these on in a little while and we'll test them. But first we're gonna just quickly look at some of the lighting effects that you get. Now straight out of the box, you can see that we've got some nice lighting all around the keyboard. And if you look at the top little corner here, you can see we've got a little status light. It's flashing because we're not actually connected at the moment to a PC. And also the color denotes the sort of the power level on the actual keyboard. So you can see I've got green, which is sort of 80% and above battery remaining on the keyboard. Now, as I mentioned, you have this handy quick start guide with a lot of the actual hotkeys. And so you can see from here, you can adjust a lot of the backlighting on this keyboard itself with these hotkeys. So a lot of the actual effects are with the function key and the actual cursors. So function and the back cursor, that will switch through some of the predefined effects on the actual keyboards. Function and forward is color switching. And the function up and down is for the brightness on the keyboard. Also, if you press the function and the H and use the same again, you can actually modify the halo bar. The function and question mark, and again, the cursor keys will do your edge strip. Okay, so now we've actually looked at the backlighting and the keycaps. Just take a quick look at the bottom. And we just wanna show you the actual feet that we've got on this keyboard. By default, with the feet folded in, you can see we've got these four little rubber tabs if you want it flat to your desk. But you do also have your typical two-step feet to adjust the height and the typing angle of the keyboard. And with that rear raised, you're obviously getting a nicer typing angle for the typing. But you may want a wrist rest on a sort of keyboard like this. Now, new if you do offer one as an additional accessory that they sell, we've got one in here. This is a two-tone wrist rest matches the keyboard. So you can see it's got a nice frosted effect, which looks fantastic and really does match the actual keyboard look itself. And you just push up against it, which gives you an even nicer typing angle to work with. It does feel great. Now we will be doing an actual typing test in a second. But before I do that, I wanna just quickly show you the difference between this 96, I'm gonna lay it flat, and the previous versions. So just to show you the size difference between them. So here we go, this is the 96. This is the previously reviewed Halo 75. And I will put the links in the description for the previous Halo 75 and Halo 65 reviews, just in case you wanna catch up on those. And then lastly, we've got the Halo 65. Okay, so just quickly sum up the difference. The Halo 65 and 75 are very similar in width, but with the 75, you're getting the function keys along the top, and that is very useful. Now, I've been using the Halo 65 since it's been released. I love its compact nature, but I do sometimes miss having those function keys. Now, Gary got the Halo 75. I think he got the better choice there. This, in my opinion, is slightly better with those function keys than the 65. Now, obviously, if we then look again, you can see the difference with this Halo 96 is very slightly longer than the 75. You've still got the function keys like you've got on the 75, but we have got this number pad. So if you're doing a lot of number work or maybe Excel spreadsheets, maybe accounts, whatever, having that number pad can be very handy. And considering it's actually not adding that much extra width to the keyboard, I think they've done a really good job with how they've actually laid this key layout out. Now I'm gonna quickly weigh them 
just to give you an idea of how much each of these weigh. So first we've got the Halo 65. That's 974 grams, so quite weighty for such a compact keyboard. Then the Halo 75, that's 1.2 kilograms. And we pick up the Big Daddy, 1.4 kilograms. So it is quite a weighty keyboard. I mean, that's going nowhere on your desk. Okay, so that's the three different Halo keyboards that are available. I'm gonna take a quick break now, I'm gonna set these up and we're gonna do a typing test between all the different switches that we've tested on these keyboards. So hopefully you found that sound test useful, but if you've got any questions on the switch types, pop it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. So the last section I want to discuss is the shine through keycaps. Now as standard, as I mentioned earlier, we get the double shot PBT keycaps and these are incredibly high quality, but they're not shine through. Now you can purchase the ABS shine through keycaps. And as you can see, I've put a load on the actual number keys. So if I light it up, you can see now that the number keys shine through brilliantly, whereas the PBT, you're only getting light around the actual keycaps themselves. But if we compare the PBT keycaps to the shine through, you can see there is quite a difference. With the ABS shine through, they are a bit shinier. They don't have that PBT grippy feel, and they do feel a fair bit lighter. But being ABS, you do get incredible shine through properties, which you don't get with the PBT. And I do like how Newfie offer you the choice to be able to do this. Now also, you could also buy other keycap sets with shine through if you don't particularly like the ones that Newfie provide, but I think they are a really good match for this keyboard. Okay, so on to the conclusion. I have to say, as always, I'm absolutely in love with these keyboards. I've been using my Halo 65 daily and I absolutely love that keyboard. I do wish I'd got the Halo 75 over the 65 for those function keys. And now that I've actually got this 96, I think this might be my daily driver. It's not that much bigger than the Halo 75, but I get the benefit of those actual number keys. And as somebody that does a lot of number work, I obviously do my counts, uh, I'm doing a lot of spreadsheet work, having those number keys in the number pad is really handy. And as per the previous Halo range, the build quality, the sound profile, and the feel and the typing experience of these keyboards are absolutely excellent. The hardest decision you're going to have to make is which switch you're going to go for. Now Newfie have kindly given us a 10% discount code, which is MASH10 at the checkout. So if you do wish to buy any one of these keyboards and any number of accessories, please make sure you use our code and you will get 10% off your order. And I will put that code and the links to these keyboards in the description below. Now as usual, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section and I will answer you. And as always, thank you for watching.